All right, y'all, so we're putting some ranch on the bottom of these sliders, all right? Good amount, I love ranch. On top of that ranch, we have some Monterey Jack cheese. Making all my favorite sliders for the Super Bowl. Everyone loves a Super Bowl. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So you know what? Yep, I'm using all of it. It's fun. All right. Eight ounce, eight ounce bag of cheese. All right, y'all. So now here, I have uh, the meat from a rotisserie chicken. I also have some buffalo sauce. Why is it called buffalo sauce? Do y'all know? I mean, it's not from a buffalo. Oh, is it from? I, I know. I think I know. That was. I, th I think I, I figured. Isn't it from like Buffalo, New York, or something? Is that is that why it's called that? Does anyone know? Is that like? Cause yeah, who knows? Tell me. I guess I could ask Google, but I want to know right now. Someone tell me. All right. So we mix in uh, some buffalo sauce with this rotisserie chicken. All right. I have the medium kind because it has a little zest, but yeah, we can put a little more. I like it saucy. I like it saucy, y'all. And I love buffalo stuff. It's my favorite. It's so good. All right. So now we're gonna move these sliders back. And we're going to take our buffalo chicken and put it on top. Oops, and we're going to put some on the counter too, y'all. Don't forget, that's some. And some on my shirt, y'all. I got some on my football shirt. Oh, man. All right. Well, it is what it is. I'm going to have a stain on my shirt for the rest of the day. Too bad. This is only the second one I'm making, and I'm wearing my game day shirt all day, y'all. All right. Buffalo chicken right on top. We're using it all. Uh, this was just, again, the meat from one rotisserie chicken on top of our uh, bottom half of our sliders. All right, we're gonna get the rest here. That looks great, nice even layer. All right, so now we're gonna take the rest of, uh, we're gonna take the buns and put them on top. All right, y'all, I'm gonna push them down a little bit. All right, so now we have about a half stick of melted butter. We gotta put a little parsley. All right, and then also, y'all, a little bit of garlic, a little bit. There we go, perfect. Okay, y'all, now we gotta give this a little mixy mixy. Parsley garlic butter. All right, and we're going to brush these with this delicious butter, butter mixture. All right, y'all, there we go. This is going to be so good, so good. All right, y'all, so these are going in the oven at 350, uncovered, about 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, that's it, y'all, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so we're putting some mayonnaise on the bottom of these sliders. I'm actually gonna use my little brush to make a nice layer, all right? I love sliders, I love game day, and that's it. Now, y'all, we have some uh, honey ham, all right? So we're gonna take some honey ham. We're gonna line this up on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna, let's see how many, this is thin slice, so we're gonna put like 12 slices maybe, or more. What do you think, Fred? It's pretty thin. More? Okay, we're gonna put a lot. We're gonna put a lot of ham. However many are in this little packet, that's how many we're gonna use. Swiss cheese, all right? Swiss cheese on top. I think we're gonna do six slices. These are pretty big. I guess we could do more, but I think six is good. What do you think, Fred? Six is good, that's what Fred says. All right, six slices of Swiss cheese. Now we're putting our other buns back on top, all right? Like so. Now move this to the side. I have uh, one stick of melted butter. In there, we're gonna put a little bit of a uh, wash your sister sauce. What's this here sauce? Where's your sh -sh 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 sauce? A little bit, a few dashes, all right? We're also gonna put a little bit of a uh, uh, dried onion. I was like, oh yeah, I should show you. A little bit of onion, okay? Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, poppy seeds. I'm just eyeballing this, y'all, a little bit. And a little dash of Dijon mustard, all right? And you know what I, oh yeah, I need to get a little whisk. I have a bit, my baby whisk, I haven't used this in so long. I'm so excited, we're gonna mix this together. All right. Mixy, 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 do, 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 mixy, mixy. Fred, don't you like that song? Fred said no, Fred hates my songs. I'm gonna sing it more. Fred. So now we're gonna take this mixture, and we're gonna pour it on top. And you know what, y'all, my little, my little brush is wet with mayonnaise, so I'm gonna use my hand, it's fine. It's moisturizing, it's good for your hands, all right? So we're using this whole thing on top of our sliders. That's kind of a lot, but whatever, that's what we're gonna do, the whole thing. All right, y'all, we're gonna cover this with foil and we're gonna bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350, and then we're gonna take the foil off for the last minute or two. One stick of melted butter, a little bit of garlic. Y'all y'all know how I feel about my garlic. In here, we also gonna add some oregano. Oregano, okay, you know what? We need a little more than that, y'all. I gotta open this up. There we go, some oregano, and then a little touch of red pepper flakes. Use as much or as little as you'd like. I just like a little a little zest in my life, all right? Even though I'm zesty enough, right, Fred? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Fred says yes. All right, y'all, so here I have my, my sliders. 
I cut them uh, in half. So we're gonna take about, uh, about a third of this butter mixture and put it on the bottom of our sliders, all right? We're making some fun, yummy sliders, my favorite sliders for Super Bowl, y'all. Y'all coming over? Remember I invited y'all? I'm gonna have a spread. I'm gonna have so much food, y'all. Y'all better show up. Otherwise, I'm gonna have too much food left over. We don't want that. I think Usher's coming over too. I invited him, but I, I don't know. I don't know if he got the invite. All right, y'all. So now what we're gonna do here. I have some uh, provolone cheese. All right. So we're gonna put some provolone cheese on the bottom of these sliders. So let's see. We, we're gonna do six slices. Provolone cheese. All right. I'm sure y'all can see where I'm going with this. Now I have some giant pepperoni right on top of our provolone cheese. Pepperoni. Let's see how many we have. All right, perfect. One, two, three, four. I have some little pepperonis too. We can just use these big ones. One, two, three, four. We have an extra one. We're just gonna put it right there. Whoever gets the middle is gonna be the happiest, y'all. All right, and now we're taking some mozzarella cheese. So we're making some pizza sliders. I love these, they're so good. And y'all, I lined the bottom of my bacon dish with foil and I sprayed it, okay? Because when, when the cheese melts, it could stick. So you wanna make sure you spray it. All right, so cheese, pepperoni, cheese. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all, so now we're putting the, other, the rest of the sliders on top, or the, the other half of the sliders right on top, all right? Now, y'all, we're using the rest of this butter. We're using it all. Butter makes everything better. I guess I could just pour it on, but yeah, we're just gonna do it like this. Oh my, y'all, I'm so excited. Y'all are gonna love these. Y'all are gonna love these. Sliders are delicious. All right, y'all, so, uh, oh, that's a lot of garlic. I'm having that one. All right, we're gonna dump the rest. All right, y'all, I'm gonna cover this with foil and we're putting this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna take the foil off and cook it for a couple more minutes. All right, y'all, so we have our sliders here. I cut them in half. So for this one, it's very simple. I have some, uh, we're making some Sloppy Joe sliders, all right? So this is ground beef. I cooked it with a uh, little ketchup, little brown sugar, some seasoning, a little bit of mustard, and that's it. So ground beef Sloppy Joes on top of our sliders, all right? Here we go, y'all, very easy. Y'all can use whatever kind of Sloppy Joe recipe you want. You can put onion in here. I put onion powder, but if y'all want some chopped onion, I feel, like, I feel like my mom used to make it with onion if I remember correctly, but I just did the simple version, all right? That's it, look how easy that is. All right, on top of our Sloppy Joe, we need a little bit of cheddar cheese. So I have some sharp cheddar. So easy, y'all, so easy. All right, that's great, good amount of cheese. Now we're gonna put our uh, top buns back on. Push them down a little bit. And then I have a little bit of uh, garlic and parsley butter, all right? So we're putting this right on top. Now, uh, yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to have garlic butter with Sloppy Joes, but you know what? It's gonna be delicious, so we gonna do it, all right? I had this leftover from another slider, so I'm like, we ain't gonna waste this. All right, y'all, that's it. We're putting this in the oven, uh, covered for about 10 minutes. I got a Frankie Fufu. He's going to the Goomer tomorrow, right? Fufu Lou, you're gonna go see your friend Amber? Yeah, he's such a little baby. Oh, I feel a knot right here, y'all. He has a big knot right here, and he needs a face wash. I love you so much, little Lulu. That's one of his nicknames, y'all, Poofy Lou. All right, y'all, so this is this was uh, this one is the buffalo chicken slider. So I know we made four different sliders, but this is the only one that uh, needs one more thing before we serve it, all right? So I'm gonna carefully take the top layer off. Ooh, this is, this is nice. I, I, I took this out of the oven a little while ago and let it cool off so it ain't that hot. Um, but right here we have some coleslaw, and I just put ranch on it. So we're going to put this on top to add some texture to our uh, buffalo chicken sliders, all right? I should have made a little more, but it's okay. All right, y'all. So that's what that is, ranch and coleslaw. So now we're going to put these back on. All right, y'all, I'm going to cut these up, and then we're going to make a serving platter with all four of our different sliders. I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so these are the ham and cheese sliders. So I took all these out of the pans and then sliced them up. So we're gonna plate them up, all right? I'm putting these, all the sliders we made, I'm putting them on a, on a serving board so we can have a variety, all right? And this is how I serve it at my Super Bowl party. I put them on, on a board and then I put them on the table and people can uh, grab whatever kind they like, all right? And I'll save the extras for later, all right? But you know, yeah, we save the extras for later. So those are the ham and cheese. All right, next to those, we're gonna take, uh, let's see, I'm gonna show y'all this. We have the pizza sliders. I think these are gonna be my favorite, but we gonna see. So these will go next to the ham and cheese. Pizza, mm, 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 I love pizza. Look inside that, don't, don't that look good for you? I wonder which one's gonna be your favorite. Mine is gonna be the pizza, I think. Or the buffalo, I don't know, y'all, I don't know. 
We'll see, we're gonna try them all, y'all. I'm excited. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. That looks so good. Amazing, all right, so we have pizza. Next, we have, uh, we're gonna do the Sloppy Joes next. Sloppy Joes. Where did that name come from? Do y'all know? Oh, I should, these are a little burnt on the bottom, so we're gonna flip it over here. <laughs> Sloppy Joes. All right, so we're gonna put these here. These are gonna be so good. I'm excited, y'all, I'm hungry too. These are nice and hearty. Look at that. They look so good. I'm gonna take a bite right now, y'all. I mean, it, it's taking everything I have within me to not eat a bite on one of these right now because I am hungry. All right, y'all, last we have our uh, buffalo chicken, all right? These might be my favorite too. I don't even know, y'all, this is so hard. It's so hard to tell which one's gonna be my favorite, but we're gonna try them all. All right, y'all, so I have to use this uh, little spatula to get these out. Look at that. Cheese, slaw. Everything delicious, all right? I'm telling y'all, if y'all make a variety of sliders, your Super Bowl party guests are gonna be so happy. They're gonna be so happy. They're gonna be telling all their friends, guess where I went for my Super Bowl party? They had a bunch of sliders and they were so good. They gonna, all your friends gonna be jealous, all right? So now y'all, you gotta make this look a little pretty. So I have some parsley here. You know how you go to fancy restaurants and they put like some parsley or something on your plate? We're gonna put some parsley. I don't know, that, that's probably a dumb place for that, but that's okay. We're going to make it work, y'all. We're going to put some parsley flowers around right there. Okay. I think y'all can eat the parsley too, right? Fred's laughing at me right now. I know. He's like, I told you to do it different, and I'm not. And he's making fun of me, but that's okay. We'll put it right there. These sliders look great, don't they, Fred? Mm -hmm. All right, so guess what, y'all? Time to try it. Kevin is just over here. I was about to pick him up, but I don't know where he went. Kevin, come here, Kevin. Come here, Kevin, before we try this. Come here. Well, if he comes over, I'm going to pick him up. But anyways, let's try one. All right, Fred. So first one we're going to try, ham and cheese. All right. So this one was a ham, uh, mayonnaise, some Swiss cheese, poppy seed, and butter stuff on top. So here we go. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. All right. I really like this one. I'm hungry, y'all. Can y'all tell? Okay. Ham and cheese, winner. I feel like um, it's good, that's it, it's a winner. Okay, next is pizza. Oh my goodness, y'all, before I even taste it, y'all, this is gonna be good. Here we go, pizza sliders. Okay, y'all, mm. me and Pepper are supposed to go out to dinner tonight, but I don't think that's happening. Okay, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Pizza's real good. All right, next we have Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's. All right, here we go, y'all. Mmm. 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 Mm. Okay. Y'all, these are all so good. It's, it's just like, these are so good. And, uh, okay, uh, this one might be my favorite, too. But you know what? Honestly, y'all, they're all my favorite. This one's going to be messy, but I don't care. Here we go, y'all. All right. All right, y'all. After I take a bite of this, I'm going to tell y'all which... I'm going to rate these in order from best to worst, all right? But there ain't no worse. I'm just going to say which one's my favorite and which one's my least favorite. Mmm. Oh, my goodness, Fred. Okay. Okay. Fred, how do I pick? Fred... Mmm. Okay. Mmm. All right, y'all. So, I don't even know how to rate these, y'all, because they all... Oh, okay, I'm going to tell y'all which my least favorite was. Sloppy Joe's my least favorite. It's still good, but out of all these, it's my least favorite. Now, my number one favorite is probably... Gosh, a tie between pizza and buffalo chicken... And number two would be ham and cheese, but I don't know. They're all pretty close, so I'm just going to keep eating my dinner here, y'all, but sliders are so much fun to make. It's great to have at your Super Bowl party. They're super easy, and that's it.